Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model low-poly vegetables in Blender. This is part 4 and today we are going to model a pepper. This is the finished model and as always I designed this so you can follow very easy. Let's get our reference down first. So switch to the view you want to display your background image. And because we have a lot of detail at the top, I decided to set up a reference for the top view as well. In general, our pepper has a very round shape. So as our primitive mesh, we will start out with a UV sphere. Give it 18 segments because we will need the extra geometry later. So in top view we can select some of these vertices and we place them to block out the general form. Use these vertices to create the bulge and the remaining vertices will be used to create the crease When rotating these vertices, make sure your transformation pivot point is set to a 3D cursor. So you will not distort your mesh too much. Okay, this looks fine for the top view. Let's work on the side view now. To create the indentations on the top and bottom, we can grab one of the vertices, enable the proportional editing tool, and by scaling up with the middle mouse button, we can adjust the radius of the tool. By pressing Command and R you can set a loop cut here. And by grabbing it and pulling it up in the z-axis we can create a more rounded shape here. Let's do this for the bottom part here too. Okay, now let's select some of the top faces here. You can get into X-ray mode by pressing Alt and Z. And scale it down and then scale it up in the z-axis. And because this looks more like an apple now, 
we have to scale the top faces now. So enable your proportional editing tool again. And work on the form a little bit more. All right, this is better. Now let's grab some of the top faces here. And pull them out even more. So now our indentation at the top is a little too deep, so we can grab it. by selecting the middle faces, pressing G, then Z to pull it out a bit, just like that. Let's repeat these steps on the bottom two. And there we go. So the top edge is a little bit too hard, so we can select this edge by pressing Alt and left click. And then pressing Command and B, we can create this bevel. By moving your mouse, you can set the width of this bevel. And by scrolling your middle mouse button, you can set the segments. This looks way better, I think. Now grab some faces, pull them up or down to give it a more organic look. So the body of the pepper is pretty much fixed. Now let's work on the stem part. We will grab these faces here and press I to insect them. Move your mouse to set the scale. Then press E to extrude these faces in the Z axis by pressing Z. Now we can scale these faces up. Extrude them again, then pressing I to inset and scale it down. Now we can use extrude, inset, scale and rotate to finish the stem part. by pressing Alt and left mouse button. When in face select mode, you can select the whole loop of faces there and scale them up.
and there our stem part is ready too. And now let's get into shading. So press on the shading tab and by pressing plus new we can create a new material for our pepper and we can give it a base color for now. And because we have the green part for the stem we need a second material. So on the right hand side we can do this. by selecting our model and then pressing plus to add a material and then plus new to create this material. Let's select a different color so we know what we are working with and by tapping into edit mode we can select the faces that we want the new material to display. Now get our gradient by adding a texture coordinate node, a mapping node and a separate X, Y and Z node. Combining it with a color ramp and then plugging it in to the base color of our material. Send the colors and the, the gradient by tweaking the handles of the color ramp. And there we go, our green material is finished. So for the red material we want a slight variation in reflectiveness or roughness in case of Blender. So we add a noise texture. And to control the values that are displayed we will add a color ramp as well. With the Node Wrangler add-on activated, you can press Shift, Control and then left click on a node to display how it looks on your model. Let's plug this into Roughness and see what it's look, it looks like. So the black value is way way too dark because we have mirror-like reflections now. So set it to a, a dark a gray for now. As you can see the roughness changes. So because I like the gradient look on these low poly models, I'm adding this gradient setup for the red material too. Because I want a slightly darker red on the bottom and top of our model. Press plus to add extra colors in your gradient. And this is it for today's tutorial. So as always, I'd like to see your take on this. So please add me on Twitter or Instagram to show me your work.
If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!